What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. This is free journal collective reading for all times, cast through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free journal collective reading. Love you guys so much. I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. Got a frog in my throat. Somebody doesn't want me to speak. Um, love you guys. I do. Okay, so um, this is another um, channeling. I hope everybody's doing well. Hopefully this is the last one tonight. If I get another one, I'll do it. But just saying. This is a good one, though. This is a good one. Okay. Um, as always, only take the messages or message or messages that resonate with the rest. Just saying. And thanks for all the shares of my content on social media and word of mouth. That's really helping my channel grow. Just saying. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was there's about to be huge energy shifts. Um, and I heard um, someone is about to apologize to you. Um, they're about to get a huge ass wake up call and realize how disrespectful they were. I heard for one, it's your child. For one, it is a family member. For one, it is an ex coworker. For one, it is a community member. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, how that resonates and applies. So there's about to be a huge energy shift soon. So like upcoming in the universe, huge energy shift. So that could be towards you, away from you, what have you, what have you. But in this aspect, if this resonates for you, this is towards you with the apology. Now there might be energy shifts away from you, maybe negative energy or something else, but the apology, whether it's one or two or two plus, it's gonna to be towards you if this resonates for you. So huge energy shifts, basically. There's gonna be huge energy shifts and it sounds like once the energy shifts occur, um, or these people could be part of the energy shifts, at least one of you guys is about to get an apology. Um, I heard they're about uh, they're, they're about to have a huge wake-up call and realize how disrespectful they were to you. For one of you guys, it's your child. For one, it is uh, one it's your child, one it's a family member, one it is an ex-coworker, one it's a com community member. So I feel it's a community member of yours. Or another community, but it, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's your community member, but you plug in how it resonates. But huge apology energy coming, if this resonates and applies for you. For some of you guys, I feel all these could resonate and apply. For some, maybe one could resonate, some two or two plus, some maybe none. But huge apology, whether it's coming from a child, I feel of yours or somebody else's. Heard your child, heard your child, so I think it's your child. Um... Whether it's a biological child, foster child, somebody you call a child, um, a family member, that could be extended or immediate, um, a community member, I feel it's your community, but it could be somebody else's community, and a uh, co-worker, ex-co-worker, her ex-co-worker. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Interesting. Someone has been very, very clouded with heavy manipulation. But through many series of chain of events, it's about to break. They're about to see very clearly. Okay, I heard someone's been very, very, very cloudy, clouded with heavy manipulation. But through many series of chain of events, it's about to break. So the heavy manipulation of them um, is about to break. And I think that's why they're about to apologize to you, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, whether it's your child, um, a family member, a community member, or a ex-coworker. How that resonates and applies, okay? But it sounds like right now in the current energetic space, they're very heavily clouded by, I think, other people or person manipulating them. But soon it's about to break and they're about to see clearly. So the cloud of manipulation is about to freaking break. and they're about to have a freaking bazinga moment. And I think that's what's about to cause the apology. Whoever you are. Yeah, wings. They're about to gain their wings and fly. You ever heard the term red, red bean? Uh, what is it? Red Bull gives you wings and I can fly. Just saying. 
The cloud of manipulation is about to break, and they're going to be able to fly. Fly, birdie, fly. Stolen money has a lot to do with this. Stolen money has a lot to do with this, is what I just heard. In at least one of these situations, stolen money has a lot to do with this in at least one of these situations. So, in, for some of you guys, I feel it could be more than one about to apologize to you. Because we have at least four situations in here. So, stolen money has a lot to do with this in at least one of these situations. So, one of the four, whether it's your child, a family member, a uh, uh, community member, or an ex-coworker. Stolen money has a lot to do with this in this situation. So, humanity... Someone's about to realize how badly they really treated you. These people requested, one of them requested for you to leave them alone. And you're going to leave them alone. One specifically did. And you're going to leave them alone. But then they're going to realize how badly they treated you in a huge ass way. Okay, so for one, of, at least one of these situations, if this resonates for you, one of these situations requested specifically for you to leave them alone. So they requested for you not to, to leave them alone. So to leave them alone, them do their thing, you do their thing. I'm assuming not speak to them or converse with them or be around them and, and to leave them be, to leave them be. They requested for you to leave them alone. And I heard you're going to, or you have, or you're going to. So you... You either have or you're going to. You're going to comply with the request. You're going to leave them alone. But I think that that's what's going to cause the apology for one of them. Because they did request specifically for you to leave them alone. Well, now they don't want you to leave them alone. But yet they requested for you to leave them alone. <laughs> and one of these situations has something to do with selling money. So humanity. Uh, the human human nature and human the humane thing to do as far as not to steal from another person humanity is what's best for everybody involved in the situation and involved in humankind and society etc 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 humanity human human um not necessarily human but what's best for everybody involved well what's best for everybody involved is for anyone not to steal from anyone and that's just the truth. Um, for some, you could be dealing with an Aquarius because humanity is very um, Aquarius Aquarius energy. And I didn't hear you were dealing with Aquarius, but one, I feel you might be, or you might be an Aquarius. He, um, doing what's best for humanity and what's best, uh, what's involved best for everybody in the situation is strong Aquarius energy. Not just certain people in the situation, everybody but that's heavy aquarius energy that's why i feel one of you guys might be an aquarius or you might be dealing with an aquarius um because we have humanity energy i didn't hear you were or maybe one of these people coming back might be an aquarius to apologize to you but um i strongly feel one you might be dealing with aquarius or you might be an aquarius or one of these people might be an aquarius but how that resonates what's best for all humankind everybody involved in the situation um, uh, not, i.e., doing the humane thing, not stealing from somebody. Humanity. Information on this theft is about to come to the light in a huge, huge, huge way. Very soon and very quickly. And the thief is about to be very publicly humiliated. Information on this theft is about to come to the light very soon and very quickly. And the thief is about to be very publicly humiliated. 
So you plug it in how it resonates. So information uh, is about to come to the light on the thief. So the person that stole from you, sorry, ma'am, and it's about to come to the light very soon and very quickly. And I think that's what's about to cause these apologies, apology or apology, whether it's from your child, uh, a family member, uh, ex coworker, or a uh, community member. Um, and the community uh, member also could be part of humanity, possibly. All right, let's pull one more. Sure. Okay. News. Oh my God. News and endurance reversed. But I heard specifically one of these people specifically requested for you to leave them alone. To leave them alone. Leave them alone. And I heard you have or you're about to. But it sounds like they don't want you to leave them alone. But they told they requested for you to leave them alone. Well, I mean, if you request somebody to leave you alone, I don't know about you guys. If you, if you request for me to leave you alone. Sure, but don't ever expect me to speak to you again. That's just true. <laughs> I don't do that mind manipulation, mind control, mind tricks. If you request for me to leave you alone, I hope you really think hard and quick. Uh, you ha think hard on that because if you ever request for me to leave you alone, ask my exes this. If you ever request for me to leave you alone, I will. But I'm moving on. And that's just the truth. And I will never come back. <laughs> just ask my exes and that's just the truth <laughs> news endurance reversed You are trying very, 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 very hard to get somebody help. Very hard to get them help. They are fighting you very hard. They're about to really regret it. You are trying very, very, very hard to get somebody help. Very hard. Um, I heard they've been fighting it. But I heard soon they're going to regret it. So... Whoever you are, somebody has been trying, uh, you have been really fighting to try to get somebody some help. So help in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, whatever kind of help that is. That help could come in, in many, diff many different ways. But you have been trying hard recently, it sounds like energetic space, to fight to get somebody some help. But the person, it sounds like that you're trying to fight to get help or people connected to the person have been re rejecting you. They've been pushing you away. But I heard soon through many series of chain events, they're about to ever regret it. They're about to ever regret pushing the help away. So, um, noose upright with endurance reverse. I wonder, and I didn't hear this. I just intuitively feel somebody's having suicidal ideation or they have a plan for um, suicidal ideation or there's mental health issues here because we have the noose upright with endurance reverse. I feel mental health issues here. I feel suicidal ideations or maybe they have a plan. Or there's something going on with somebody's mental health. Definite mental health issues here. Definite. Okay, I just heard definite. That's confirmation. Definite mental health issues here. Definite. So, whoever you've been trying to get help for, sorry, ma'am, um, they have been pushing away the help. They've been, they have either, either been pushing away the help or somebody connected to them has been strategically pushing away the help. But I heard through many series of chain of events, they're about to ever regret it. So I think somebody, and I heard in here confirmation, somebody's got some heavy mental health issues. Um, I wonder if somebody's going to take their life. If somebody's going to take their life or something happens to them, that either they're going to take their life or somebody overdoses or, some, or there's some kind of negative signs and symptoms of like... Um, of overdose on medication, mental health medication, or drug overdose, or something of that nature. Something to do with mental health issues, whether it's an overdose on mental health medication, like serotonin syndrome, like with the Prozac my son's on, I was afraid of him get, getting serotonin syndrome from that damn Prozac. He needs to be off the Prozac and on a different damn medicine, and I'm just being for real. 
Seriously, he's way too young to be on Prozac. Way too young. Um, or um, if this is like a somebody's on drugs for mental health issues and they overdose on drugs. I heard somebody in here has the whoever this is has been pushing away your health. Uh, your health. They have mental health issues, but they've been pushing away your health. But yet you have backed away, or you're about to. But something's about to happen to them. I heard they're about to ever regret that you did. So I wonder if they're going to overdose or something negative. If they're taking some kind of negative medication and it exacerbate, like they're overdosed on medication and, like for example, serotonin syndrome. That was the worry I had for my son on that Prozac or something else, something to do with mental health issues. And we have new stuff, right, with endurance reverse. So I don't think they have strength. Uh, I feel for some they might want to harm themselves, hurt themselves, suicidal ideations, or maybe they attempt with a plant. How that resonates and applies or they're on some kind of toxic medication and it causes them to have suicidal ideations or to have a plan like the Prozac which causes heavy suicidal ideations and serotonin syndrome how that resonates and applies you are about to be a hero indirectly through many series of chain of events a huge ass hero Okay, I heard you're about to be a huge ass hero through many series of chain events indirectly. Huge ass hero. So whoever you are, this person has pushed away your help. They pushed away your help. You have backed away or you're about to. But I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to be a huge ass hero uh, indirectly. Indirectly to somebody. So it might be the person you've been trying to help or it might be somebody else. But whoever you are, sir, ma'am, and that might be where the apologies are about to come in for some, uh, for some of these folks. You're about to be a huge ass hero indirectly to somebody, whether it's the one you've been trying to help or somebody else you've been trying to help. I think somebody's been wanting to harm themselves, maybe suicidal ideations, whether it's because of toxic medication like Prozac and possible serotonin syndrome or any other toxic medication or serotonin syndrome or just they just or very depressed over a breakup or whatever, 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 or whatever, and they want to harm themselves, but somehow you're about to be a hero indirectly, but somebody's been pushing away your help. So I don't know if you're about to be a hero indirectly to the person you've been trying to help or somebody else, but I heard you're about to be a huge ass hero indirectly to somebody, whether it's the one that you've been trying to help or somebody else. And you're about to get huge ass high honor for this. Huge. S certain people strategically do not want you to get high honor for this, but you're about to. Okay, I heard, and you're at, you're actually about to get high honor for this. So you're about to, wow. So you're actually about to get high honor for this. Heard certain certain people don't want you to get high honor strategically for this, but I heard you will. Through many series of chain of events. Through many series of chain of events. So. So, so somebody strategically doesn't want you to get high honor for this strategically. Um, but you're about to be a hero indirectly um, to somebody. I don't know if it's to the person you're trying to help because you backed away from that person. It might be to somebody else. It might be information or something. But somehow you're about to be a huge ass hero to somebody. Whether it's the one you're truly trying to help or somebody else. And um, I heard you will get high honor through many series of chain events. I heard certain people don't want you to get high honor strategically. So they don't want you to be in the limelight, the call, um, the limelight or um, the public eye for trying to help somebody or save somebody or do something positive in the universe. But I heard through many series of chain events you're about to. Okay, coffin. We have coffin. I heard take it. Number 19 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 19. Coffin, you're about to help save a life in a huge way. And there's about to be a very significant death you predicted soon, and that's about to bring you high honor too. Wow, I heard you're about to save a life in a huge way, sir, ma'am. Um, you're about to help save a life. So you're about to get high honor, I think, because 
You're about to help save a life. Uh, whether it's the one you were trying to save and they basically rejected your help and refused your help and you've backed away or about to back away or somebody else's life. But you're about to help save a life. And I think they were having suicidal ideations or they are having them um, and you're about to help save a life. Congratulations. So that's why you're about to get high honor for um, whoever you are. And whoever you are, I heard you also predicted to death and I heard that you're about to get high honor for that too. So um, you've also predicted to death and I guess it's already happened or it's about to happen and you're about to get honor for the prediction of a death that's already happened or is about to happen. So in this aspect, I feel coffin is saving a life from a coffin. So you're actually saving a life from being in a coffin and you've predicted a life going to the other realm, the other side of the veil. To the spirit realm in a coffin whether it's already happened or it's about to happen number 19 can be a very significant number of one's life number 19 can be a possible age of viewers now you're connected to or any other significant number there's about to be huge changes here huge Some people are so, are trying so hard to hide the truth, but they just are not going to be able to anymore very soon and very quickly. The bottom's about to fall out. And there's about to be a very significant overdose soon, drug overdose. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So. I heard uh, so many people are trying to hide the truth. They're just trying to hide the truth. And I heard through many series of chain events, they just will not be able to hide it soon anymore. They won't be able to hide it soon anymore. Whatever truth that is and how that resonates, sir, ma'am, over here, uh, where people are about to come apologize to you. Uh, you're trying to help somebody, try to help somebody, but they're refusing your help. Um, whether it's from an overdose or a death you predicted that's already happened or was about to predict or you saving a life. Uh, how that resonates and applies, but they just cannot hide. I heard soon they're, they're not going to be able to hide the truth. Just not anymore. I um, heard the bottom's about to fall out. It's about to fall out so quickly. Okay, I heard it's about to fall out so quickly. Bottom's about to fall out just quickly. So I guess with truth. And I heard there's about to be a significant overdose too. Um, so in this aspect, we had those other two, but number three with the overdose, I heard that's upcoming. So that hasn't happened yet, but it is upcoming in the universe so an overdose about to occur a drug overdose that person is going to be in a coffin uh, a funeral physical death here it has not occurred yet but somebody's about to overdose drug overdose now i don't know if that's prescription pills the legal way and they overdose you know too much of a prescri you know prescribed medication and it kills their ass or if it's illicit drugs. I didn't hear that. I just heard a drug overdose. But that could be abuse of prescribed medicines, the legal uh, drug dealer way, or illicit overdose, like illicit drugs. But that's upcoming overdose in the universe soon. Um, and, that, and that overdose could be this. They don't have strength to live. Endurance reverse. They don't have strength to live. And they're about to take too much of either an illicit drug, like an illegal illicit drug, or a prescribed drug, or over-the-counter, like 25 Tylenol or 30 ibuprofen or some shit like that. They got to get their stomach pumped or some shit. Um, I didn't hear specifics on it. I just heard upcoming overdose. So I feel that could be taking like 30 fucking ibuprofen and having to get your stomach pumped. 25 Tylenol and got to get your stomach pumped. Or taking too much Prozac and you're getting serotonin syndrome. Or I'm just using that because I'm so passionate about that because of my son. He needs all that medicine. Like now. And I'm just serious. They need to switch him on to something more appropriate. For a teenager. Um, or if it's illicit drugs. 
Pop that resonates and applies. But upcoming death with some kind of overdose of a med um, of something, whether it's illicit drugs like street drugs, um, prescribed legal drug dealer way, or um, or what have you, what have you, overdose energy, coffin. Um, they don't have strength to live, and that's why they're overdosing their cell, whether it's on, like, 30 over-the-counter medicine, um, pills, or legal drug dealer way with prescribed dangerous medicine, or illicit drugs. Strength, no strength. They don't, I feel depression here. And they're basically setting themselves up for a damn casket with the noose in the coffin. How that resonates and applies, okay? All right, I love you guys so much. Hope this helps. Namaste.